Experienced driver identified as trucker behind wheel of truck that plunged off Sycamus Bridge. The driver of the commercial truck that plunged off the R.W. Brun Bridge in Sycamus on Saturday has been identified as 25-year-old Ramindarjit Singh. Singh was killed when the truck he was driving went over the side of the R.W. Brun Bridge in the early morning hours of Saturday morning. His body was recovered by RCMP divers on Sunday. Singh was working for Mountain Peak Transport, a trucking company out of Abbotsford that specializes in overnight services from B.C. to Alberta. Gervinder Bugri, owner of Mountain Peak Transport, said Singh was an experienced driver who had only started working for the company a few weeks ago. He was an experienced driver with a good abstract, Bugri said. Singh is reported to have had more than two years of trucking experience. All we are hearing right now is he was trying to save someone, oncoming traffic in the wrong lane, Bugri said. Sycamus is a pretty narrow bridge, and then he basically tried to save a car coming in his lane. The events that led up to the truck going over the side of the bridge have not been confirmed by police, but posts on social media indicate a witness reported Singh's truck swerved to avoid colliding with an oncoming vehicle. Mounties have not confirmed whether that is believed to be the case. The vehicle Singh was driving was a truck owned by Mountain Peak Transport. Brand new truck, 2024 model. It did not even have 150,000 kilometers on it, Bugri said. With all BC safety, Alberta safety, there's not a 1% chance of any truck or trailer failure because it's brand new. A post from April on the company's Indeed page celebrated the purchase of two brand new trucks that looks similar to the one involved in the crash. Bugri said the company has reached out to Singh's sister and is doing what it can to help the family. An online fundraiser has been set up through GoFundMe to benefit Singh's family. Out of the time of writing, more than $18,000 had been raised, the donation page was set up by Cynthia Kaglian, who has been identified as the financial administrator for the Skilled Truckers Canada Facebook page. The page documents crashes involving commercial vehicles across Canada. The organizer of the GoFundMe has not yet responded to a request for comment from Castanet, the Trans-Canada Highway is expected to remain open in Sycamus as repairs begin on the R.W. Brune Bridge following a fatal crash that happened Saturday morning. However, drivers are being advised that short-term closures or single-lane alternating traffic might be necessary as repairs take place over the next few days. A semi-truck went over the side of the bridge on Saturday, causing significant damage to the bridge and tearing off a portion of the guardrail. The crash resulted in the death of the truck driver. The Trans-Canada Highway in Sycamus Narrows were closed for an extended period of time as emergency crews worked to recover the truck from the water. In a statement posted Monday morning, the ShoeSwap emergency program reminded drivers that traffic control measures are in place with a 30 km per hour speed limit on the bridge. Short-term closures or single-lane alternating traffic may continue as repairs to the bridge deck and guardrail are underway, the statement said. BC's Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure said the repairs are expected to take several days, with Drive BC posting updates as necessary. Sycamus Narrows is now open for public boat traffic and is expected to remain open as repair work continues. Spotters will be on site with the repair team, and work will be paused if necessary to allow boats to move safely underneath the bridge. The ShoeSwap emergency program advised the public that Sycamus Beach Park will remain closed and additional affected areas along the shoreline may also close as environmental cleanup efforts continue. Multiple environmental and spill response agencies are back on site to assess any environmental impacts and work on cleanup, the statement said. Containment booms have been deployed to manage the diesel fuel spilled from the truck. There is no estimated time when Sycamus Beach Park and other shoreline areas will be reopened.